guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to preface this with... Oh, hmm. Maybe it just won't. Maybe I'll just go right into it. I think I'll just go right into it. Leia's going to be in episode 9. We all know that. Uh, they made the casting announcement on Friday. Uh, and there's lots of speculation about how this is going to be handled. We know they're going to use pre-shot footage. No CGI, which I'm sure... There are people out there yelling and screaming, yay! Um, my feeling on CGI simply is this. It works better with older people. Um, like, you have to literally find the right person uh, for the CGI. And the girl they chose for Leia in Rogue One, it just, um, she had the round face, but it wasn't quite right. A little too much chin. Um, an interesting little uh, anecdote here, when Carrie saw Rogue One, at the end of it, she was like, I don't remember filming that. Because she thought it was real. So, you know, some people liked it, some people didn't. I was kind of, you know, I really liked Tarkin, though. I thought Tarkin was great. But anyway, back to Leia being in Episode 1, or Episode 9. Um, so she's going to be, they're going to use pre-shot footage, probably from The Force Awakens in The Last Jedi. Whatever they can scrounge. Um, now I know Mike Zero, the shell, the fake news purveyor, um, was basically saying that uh, it would probably be a scene uh, where Leia is talking about this weapon that the Resistance has that can destroy things. Whatever he says, just ignore it, because it's usually the opposite. It's probably going to be something else um you know because there there were probably lots and lots of scenes uh that were left on the cutting room floor um that in tfa between her and ford uh maybe there are some things uh from tlj between her and mark hamill um but we'll probably see her in a flashback uh because I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure harrison ford is going to be in as a cameo, um, that he can either come in and do a little bit on his own, which would take one day in, in, at the studio in California. Um, wouldn't take him very long at all. Or, um, they can use pre-shots, the stuff that they used, that they had laying around on the, on the cutting room floor from TFA. However, I would say that there's probably going to be another scene with those two together. Uh, maybe they actually filmed the conversation between him, Han, and Leia about Ray. We don't know. But, uh, it's, I mean, when, when, when Mike Zero says, I know what's happening, now he does it. Okay, he's, you know, he'll find something on Reddit or 4chan and then, bleh, spew it out. Or, uh, you know, her, the, um, you know, what's left of Kennedy's cabal at, uh, Lucasfilm will, will feed him some misinformation uh like the Raylo stuff um i have it on good authority that it's not happening uh and i tell you can take that to the bank don't listen to him at all um you know oh wow there's a cat outside okay just sorry <laughs> i look squirrel um anyway uh i want to i do want to tell you guys that um uh there is no that could be a Raylo. Um, it doesn't make any sense with Star Wars. Um, when when JJ said he wasn't going to let the fans dictate what the story was going to be, he wasn't talking about us. He was talking about them, the Raylos. Um, you know when you when I can't imagine how angry he is. Now I did a video about him. Um, I may or may not release it, but I just I want to talk a little bit about Carrie Fisher today. Um, Kathleen Kennedy uh, uh, basically had said in an interview that uh, Todd Fisher was confused about uh, Carrie being in episode nine. Uh, they're not going to do it. And, and she seemed, I mean, the thing that bothers me is when you watch the that video, and I'm going to link Geeks and Gamers, uh, I'm going to link uh, Jeremy, only because he's got the video and I don't have the technology to actually show you what she said. I get the feeling of someone who didn't care if she was dead, a callous woman, uh, absolutely, that she's a robot. She is, she is absolutely hollow inside. 
Um, so I'll, I'll post it on there. But, but she basically said that Todd was confused. Uh, yesterday, uh, both Ethan Van, Sky Van Skyver, uh, Uncle Ethan and Jeremy both posted videos about um, Todd Fisher basically crediting J.J. Abrams for having Carrie in this. This is a big deal. It's a big deal for us fans, is it not? For her to be in it, in any capacity. Um, and he, you, you, I'm gonna give this to, to I'm gonna say this about JJ, and I know uh, Jeff over at World, World Class Bullshitters will get mad. But he's a genuine fan. Uh, when they fired Michael Arndt for asking for 18 months to write a decent script for The Force Awakens, and got um, Kasdan and JJ Abrams to write script in six months. JJ didn't have a lot of time. Uh, it looks to me like it looks like a Disney wanted a fast turnover and um, you know Kennedy was was cracking the whip so we got the mediocrity of The Force Awakens a, a very poorly thought out film because it was made in a hurry. You cannot make Star Wars in a hurry. Okay my video on JJ talks about that. Um, so anyway, uh, you know, he didn't, there, there really wasn't a lot of time to really sit down and think, what were, what were the big three doing? Well, where are they gone? Uh, what were these new characters going to be like? Um, so there you go. So, anyway, JJ comes in to try to salvage episode nine, and no matter what, they do need Leia for this in some capacity. Um, so yeah, she's going to be in it. I mean, there was, all right, we already caught Mike Zero in a lie when he was talking about Leia's funeral and all that. We already caught him in a lie, did we not? All right, just just hold on to that. Next time you go over to his page or channel to hear his latest bullshit, um, he's like the daily news of Star Wars um, YouTubers. Um, so anyway, so JJ is the one that brought Carrie back. Uh, Todd Fisher, God bless him, thanked him for that. JJ is obviously a genuine fan. Uh, he's a genuine uh, uh, Star Wars fan. Um, I really, really want them to retcon Han and Leia's relationship and kind of get to the point where they're going to decanonize uh, Claudia Gray's book because her book, th this piece of garbage that's going to go into the fire pit next week, um, it came out long after TFA did. Um, let's see what what. Let's see what what was the. Let's see. Let's see. Do 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 do. Twenty sixteen. So it came out after TFA. Long after TFA, actually. So. Nothing in there is really a connection to what happened. We don't know. We don't know what was going on. This can be decanonized. So hopefully what they do is, is fix it so they can go back and fix that. Um, but anyway, yeah, Carrie's back. Carrie Fisher's back. And um, the funny thing is, is, is I want to talk about this, was uh, Kathleen Kennedy's reaction um, and the fact that this, how callous she was and how she really didn't care, you can tell, like I said in the previous part of my video, that she just didn't care if she was dead. She's probably pissed off, um, because it, you know, hurts her personally. I mean, it personally hurt me, but not in the same way. Trust me. Um, I was a basket case for a month. Um, but here's, here's the thing. This proves, without a shadow of a doubt, that J.J. Abrams is basically running Lucasfilm now. I, I'd absolutely agree with Jeremy. Now, is he going to do it permanently? Probably not. There are at least two different people, like I said before, that are in the running to run Lucasfilm. Kathleen Kennedy gets a production credit for Episode Nine, but it's meaningless, okay? It is meaningless. She has absolutely had no creative control no monetary control. I'm sure Disney's going um, on what happens on episode 9. J.J. Abrams and by default George Lucas have that. They're the ones that are 
focused on making this movie. And it looks to me like they're throwing the kitchen sink at it. So we'll see. I mean, I, I basically told somebody on uh, Twitter today, I, I cannot wait to see the, the uh, spoilers because it's going to be very interesting to see what they come up with. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to touch base on, on uh, Kathleen Kennedy's bizarre sort of disrespect of Carrie Fisher um, and her disrespect to Todd Fisher and basically uh, Carrie's return basically proves that she doesn't, that Kennedy no longer is running Lucasfilm and uh, a true fan is what, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I gotta say, JJ, I, I think, he, you know, he's not as talented as people give him credit for, um, but he does his best and, you know, he comes off like a pretty good guy. I mean, I'm not gonna, he pissed me off, trust me. I mean, when I first heard his, you know, comment that saying that we were sexist for hating Ray or Rose Tico or some shit, I was pretty mad, but then I, I started digging through that evidence going, he really didn't say that, you know? So, you know, there you go. I mean, I don't, where are you gonna go with it? So anyway, um, I don't want Star Wars to fail. This is why I'm still here, you know, watching what happens and reporting to you guys because I think that the world needs Han Leia and Luke. I think they need, we need that modern fairy tale. We need that myth. We The kids need uh, heroes to look up to. Uh, you know, male heroes to look up to like Luke and Han. Little boys need that. Little girls need that. Little girls need Leia um, the way she was in the OT. You know, and that's why I'm still here because I still think that it can be fixed if they do it right. And with George Lucas there, we'll see. So anyway, so this is a little bit about Kathleen Kennedy and how we're pretty, I'm pretty sure now that she has absolutely nothing to do with episode nine. And JJ is now in full control of what's gonna, what's happening. All right. And ultimately, Bob Iger's probably sitting on everything going, you know, um, because he's got, a, he's got a big thing going on. I mean, he's got to look at the, you know, the board of directors at Disney and then see Lachlan Murdoch walk in. Who's probably going to replace him? Okay, so this is Steph. Sunny out. See you around the galaxy. We are winning.